Welcome back. Well, the Nifty is down 130 points, but what's heartening today is the mid-cap index continues to trade in the green with a gain of closure around half a percent. In a couple of those stocks, well, they're looking quite good. Amy Organics, uh, remember the stock has seen a sharp correction from the recent peak. But as we speak, it's still holding with a gain of close to around 2%. There was some bit of margin improvement that we saw on a sequential basis. It seems the street likes that, so that's holding in the green. You also have Relige, which has seen a correction from the recent peak. But that stock as well has seen a bit of a recovery intraday. Uh, I think the last 30 minutes or so, the stock has moved from the red to the green terrain currently at the high point of the day. But let's focus on the cement space. Bidla Koppel, they posted numbers which are a little lower than what the street was working with. Valuation-wise, though, there's a lot of comfort that comes in there. So let's welcome Ms. Aditya Sarogi, the Chief Financial Officer of the company who joins us. Uh, hi, Mr. Sarogi. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, uh, you know, let's get the volume picture first out of the way since you have had capacities coming on stream, both at Mukutband as well as at Chanderia. Uh, what kind of a volume growth are you looking at for this year? Earlier, you were talking about 15%. And for FY24, since both the plants will stabilize, what kind of a volume growth are you looking at? See, uh, in Q4, uh, between Q3, we had a double-digit growth. In hmm. Q4, also, we expect to maintain a double-digit growth. Okay. And you'll end the yeah. year with 15% volume growth? Uh, we might fall a bit short of 15%. Okay. But, but uh, we definitely have a double-digit growth. Double. So now, uh, so now you're guiding for a number of closure on 10 to around 12%? It should be 12 to 13%. 12 to 13% versus 15% yeah. earlier. Got that. And what about yeah, for the yeah. coming year, FY24? Given that I mean, de demand is strong, uh, that's what reports indicate. Do you believe that in the coming year as well, you can do more than double-digit growth? Uh, the coming year also, we'll do a double-digit growth for sure. But uh, in terms of uh, uh, more uh, precise numbers, I'll be able to give a sense in the next quarter. All right, uh, Mrs. Raugi. Uh, you know, always a pleasure speaking with you. Now that you've spoken about volumes, etc., let's talk a little about your operational performance as well. What kind of EBITDA per ton can you guide for in the fourth quarter? And uh, Nigel was uh, alluding to a couple of facilities as well. Mukutban is uh, the one that I want to talk about. Uh, has it turned EBITDA positive? By when does it break even? See, coming to EBITDA, uh, if you see sequentially, we have been uh, uh, doing better. We have been posting uh, better EBITDA. And we expect to maintain that trend. So sequentially, we should be uh, doing better in terms of EBITDA pattern. Mm -hmm. I would not like to give an exact number, but uh, that trend is definitely positive. Okay. And coming to break even of uh, Mukundan, that we expect to happen in the next year. Because next... we have got the costs under control now with all the facilities under operation. The waste is probably also is, uh, uh, under operation in this quarter. Okay. So with all the levers in place, next year we expect the incentive also to trigger in, which itself will have an impact of more than 600 rupees per ton. The incentives will help by 600 rupees mm -hmm. per ton. Okay, so quarter one, FY24 yeah. is when Mukutban breaks even? Uh, it may not be in quarter one because uh, uh, the incentive will uh, kick in a bit later because okay. we first need to exact, uh, uh, exhaust our input tax credit. Okay. So in the first yeah. half of the year, should we assume that it, you break even? Uh, it's on a, the... first, second half is more likely. For, okay. Second half of the year, Mukutban yeah. will break even and the losses of there have been yeah. coming down. So that's as well hardening. Now, your EBITDA yes. per ton term, including Mukutban, well, that's improved to around 380 rupees from around 230 rupees. And excluding Mukudban, you're nearly at around 500 rupees. Could you Sorry. tell us what is the outlook? How much can it improve, say, in quarter four and from year on? Do you get back to 600, 650 rupees uh, in the next couple of quarters? What is your guidance on EBITDA per ton? See, uh, it largely depends on the market, which mm. is frankly uh, not being supportive, not only for us, for, but mm. for the entire industry. Uh, typically, in the third and the fourth quarter, you expect price uh, hikes, which have not uh, really happened. So, if we don't get any price hike, it will be difficult to uh, get to the figure of 600, 650, which was what we were expecting earlier. But definitely, given the cost pressures have come off uh, uh, quite a bit, we expect the cost to come down, and that should help us increase the EBITDA on a sequence. So, if the price stay where they are and there is no change, what kind of EBITDA per ton can you uh, look at? Uh, uh, I would, I just I would say at least fifty to hundred rupees, if not more. 
50 to 100 rupees improvement from here. So that's, uh, yeah. you know, uh, so it should be in the vicinity of around 400 and, uh, 450 to 500 rupees? Uh, yes, that's what I was expect at this point of time. Okay, 450 to 500 rupees and... And if we get any benefit from the pricing front, that could be higher also. Right. Okay. And uh, on, on, on the debt front, what is the exact debt right now that you have and what are the debt reduction plans for FI24? Uh, we have about uh, 4,100 crores of net debt. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, had a peak uh, uh, last quarter itself. Since then, it's been coming down. And on a continuous basis, we expect it to come down. We have already had a peak in the second quarter of uh, this financial year. By how much? In terms of... Yeah, go ahead. In terms of uh, debt reduction, uh, what we are doing, we are uh, tightly focusing on uh, consolidation of our operations, ramping up our bookers bank plant. Yeah. So once uh, that facility starts generating cash flow, we will use that for repayment of our debt, okay. and this will come down uh, on a gradual basis. So by the end of FY24, debt could come down by 10%. Is that possible from 4,100 crores? I, uh, maybe next quarter I'll be in a better position to do Okay, as of now, you can't commit on that front. Very quickly, yeah, though, yeah, yeah, yeah. your press release talks a lot about captive coal. You know, and you're going to be ramping up your blocks. Uh, could you tell us uh, what is the ideal mix in FY24, say, out of your total coal requirement, how much will come in captively? Uh, between 37 to 40 percent should be coming from... Uh, uh, not, not exactly next year, because we are going to start it uh, somewhere in the Q2. Mm. But, but once it is fully operational, that will cater to about 38 to 40 percent of our total coal fuel requirement. That will be in 2025, I'm guessing. Yeah, uh, next year from two three we'll start getting benefit of that. Uh, okay, and thirty eight to forty percent by t in FI twenty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Thanks so much uh, for stopping by, Mr. Sarogi, and filling us in with all those details. Sounding a little bit optimistic that things will improve from here on, but pricing doesn't move up, mm -hmm. and that is a bit of a worry. Well, time to slip into a short break. As we do that, here's some exciting news: the most coveted leadership award.